moment for rising over enemy, and this is how I make my moment. So uh, you wrapped up the tour recently, man. How was uh, how the tour wrap up for you? Uh, it? it was great, man. Uh, we got to play uh, some cities and, and just getting people to vibe out to the music. Uh, it was a great feeling, man. They showed us a lot of love. And, you know, it's always good to be uh, received when you know, travel on the road and people enjoy the music and support. It. That's what's up. Crazy story from from the tour, man. Uh, man, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Man, we we play there a lot. Great city, man. I love the people there. Uh, but there was this one girl at the show that just literally followed us around for like an hour or two. And the venue isn't really that big, so it was really obvious that she kept following us. It, was just, it, it got a little creepy after did, a while. Did she at least get an autograph or something? Yeah, she got like an autograph poster, CD, buttons, and it's like, I have no much, no, no more merch to really give you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're still following me, there's nothing else to really give you. It was great, it was great, but it was a little weird. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> definitely, I hear that, man. So, in your experience, do you prefer being on the road or do you prefer recording? Uh, man, before it was kind of 50 50, but I think now that I've done more touring, I think I enjoy the touring a lot more uh, just because I get to see an instant reaction to the music you know, that we've crafted and people can kind of you can gauge by how they're moving, like if they're truly enjoying it and they're like, oh, they're not really rocking with that. Uh, but I think that's probably the, the best part for me is, is being on stage. Okay, so a lot of artists now are getting love from Chicago. It's definitely been put on the map. Um, I know we had spoke before, you've been back and forth to a couple of different places, having some meetings, this, that, and the other. Uh, any uh, potential situations, man? That's man, it's, it's some stuff on the table, man. Uh, you know, I don't want to you know, speak too soon, but I will say that you know, the music industry is taking note to the Chicago hip hop scene. And, you know, thanks to the guys like Chance and, and Chief Keith and Rocky. Uh, they're kind of, everybody wants a piece of Chicago, so they're looking for that next thing. And shout out to Add Two as well, you know, doing his thing. And, Word. You know, they all want a piece, so everybody, you know, they're coming through and they're checking out the scene. So, you know, we'll see, man. Hopefully the right situation comes along. I can still be me, uh, and they can market me to, you know, a bigger market or whatever. Just go for it. All right, so I got to ask about the, the Radiant Child album. Yeah. What's, uh, what's, what's up with, where, where, where are we at with Radiant Child? Uh, Radiant Child is, uh, man, we, we're, we're looking to release that this fall, my first full-length album, so it'll be uh, pretty cool. It's just really, you know, tweaking things and like making sure everything is good to go. We did a lot of less sampling on this album, uh, and we did more like uh, live instrumentation on the project. So, you know, it's, it's at a point where I'm, you know, I'm getting comfortable with it, but you know, once the, the situation is right, so you got the two uh, two happiness EP yeah. dropping dropping fairly soon. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. The tour that you're on is wrapped up with that. So tell yeah. us about that EP, man. What can uh, we expect? Man, that EP is kind of like a bridge between uh, my first EP of Backpack and then Rolling and the album uh, Radiant Child. Uh, I've just been on a journey in between, you know, that whole time. And really, it's just like, you know, I'm on this journey to this place called happiness. But what ha what is happiness really? And what is that journey? Like, so each record just kind of talks about that whole journey of, you know, the last year and a half, two years of my life where, you know, I've just been, you know, being a music artist and, and dealing with the ups and downs of that. And it just kind of tells the story of that a little bit and hopefully people can relate to it as well. To some extent. Word. All right, well, I appreciate you doing this interview, man. Any uh, any closing words? Oh, uh, man. Rosinobenvy.com. Check it out, man. Facebook, Twitter, Black Punk. All that good stuff hit me up. My space. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. No doubt. Ah.